All right, guys, welcome to this short tutorial on how to install Eclipse IDE on your Windows 10 machine. Okay, so just keep in mind that if you have an older version of Windows, then the installation instructions will be different. If you have enrolled into this class, please make sure to have Windows 10 with at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. That is what is recommended. Okay, if you have a Mac, then we have separate instructions for you as well. Okay, so uh, this video is brought to you by Syntax, and congratulations on taking your first big step on your new career. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is you want to open Chrome, Edge, or Firefox, whichever one is your preferred browser, and you want to search up Eclipse Download. Okay, and once you search that up, you'll definitely get a lot of uh, options here. And make sure to go to the eclipse.org downloads link. Don't click on an advertisement. All right, so just click on this Eclipse download link and you'll land into this Eclipse Foundation page. Okay, so you'll scroll down and you have this download 64 bit option here. Okay, so you just go ahead and click on that. All right, now if it doesn't download automatically, then you may have to click on download again, like in my case, as you see right now. So we'll click download, and you're gonna have to give this a few moments to download. Okay, it may take a longer while for you, or it may be faster. Okay, but just go ahead and give it a moment. And it is almost complete. All right. Once the download, once the file has been downloaded, go ahead and open the installation file. Okay, and you will see this Eclipse installer uh, installation box. Okay, so you'll have different options here. Okay, which you can look at on your own time, but the one we'll be using for class is the first one, Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Okay, so you want to go ahead and click on that, and then you'll see this, right? It's telling you where it's going to be stored and saved. Just click on install and let the installation proceed. And then, of course, you have to accept some licenses. Okay, you can go ahead and read the terms and conditions if you like, or you can just click accept, right? And just let the file install and voila that's it that's all you had to do okay now keep in mind that if this is your first time installing Eclipse the installation may be a little slower and that's fine that's normal but if this is what you see then you have successfully installed Eclipse onto your Windows 10 machine okay please let us know if you have any questions thanks